English speaking course. I can understand English, but I can't speak. If so, today's video is just for you. In this video, we'll provide you with five English learning habits for beginners. This method has helped many learners improve their English. Do you want to be like that? So make sure to watch until the end to take your English to a next level. Let's start with practicing listening skills. Listen to the conversation carefully and fill in the empty blanks with one or two words. Anita, I don't feel good. I think I should rest. Chloe, you look pale. You shouldn't go to work today. <sighs> no, I have to. There's so much to do. I'll be fine. I really think you should stay home. You need rest. Chloe! Oh no! Chloe! Chloe! Can you hear me? Oh my God. Calm down, Anita. Call an ambulance. Please hurry. She's not responding. Chloe, you're awake. How are you feeling now? Anita, I'm feeling a bit better. What happened? You fainted because of exhaustion and not eating well. The doctor said you need to change your lifestyle. I've been pushing myself too hard. My work. And I skip meals often. You need to start taking care of yourself, Chloe. Let's plan a healthy routine for you. Yes, I need to change. I don't want this to happen again. So let's start with small changes. How about we go for a walk every morning? A walk sounds nice. It's been a long time since I did any exercise. Great! And how about we plan your meals? More fruits, vegetables, and regular eating times. I can try. It's going to be hard to change my eating habits, but I'll do it. We'll do it together. And remember, getting enough sleep is crucial too. Let's set a bedtime routine. You're right. Late nights have become too common for me. I need to fix that. Exactly. And let's not forget hydration. Drink more water throughout the day. Come on, Chloe. Let's hit the gym. It's part of our new healthy routine. Oh, Anita, you know I'm not a big fan of exercising. I know, but it's important for your health. Just give it a try. You might end up liking it. All right, I trust you. Let's do this, but don't push me too hard, okay? Deal. We'll start with some light exercises and see how it goes. Hello, Chloe. You look happy today. Hi, doctor. Yes. I feel great. I've been eating better and exercising. That's good news. Your health is much better now. My friend Anita has been helping me. We go to the gym together. Great. Having a friend to help is important. Keep it up. I will, doctor. Thank you. Speak English with confidence. Our membership program gives you everything you need to improve your English speaking skills. Benefits include unlimited access to our video lessons, speaking practice with other members, feedback from our expert teachers, a supportive community of learners. Sign up today and start speaking English like a native The first word we have here is routine, meaning our regular way of doing things in a particular order. 
You need to start taking care of yourself, Chloe. Let's plan a healthy routine for you. Next, we have exercise, meaning physical activity that you do to make your body strong and healthy. It's been a long time since I did any exercise. Let's move to the word habits, meaning regular practices or behaviors. It's going to be hard to change my eating habits, but I'll do it. How about the word hydration, meaning the process of making sure there is enough water in the body? Exactly. And let's not forget hydration. Drink more water throughout the day. Finally, we have bedtime, meaning the time at which you usually go to bed. Let's set a bedtime routine. You're right. All right, everybody, is everything all clear? This is how you learn the vocabulary by heart. Now we head to the duet part, where you can practice your speaking skills. Speak out loud when the lines appear on your screen. Pretend like you are having a real conversation. Are you ready? Let's go. Anita, I don't feel good. I think I should rest. <sighs> no, I have to. There's so much to do. I'll be fine. Anita, I'm feeling a bit better. What happened? I've been pushing myself too hard. My work, and I skip meals often. Yes, I need to change. I don't want this to happen again. A walk sounds nice. It's been a long time since I did any exercise. I can try. It's going to be hard to change my eating habits, but I'll do it. You're right. Late nights have become too common for me. I need to fix that.
Oh, Anita, you know I'm not a big fan of exercising. All right, I trust you. Let's do this. But don't push me too hard, okay? Number one, why did Chloe faint? B. She was exhausted and not eating well. Number 2. What did the doctor advise Chloe to do? C. Change her lifestyle. Number 3. What is Chloe planning to change about her meals? A. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Number 4. How did Chloe feel about her new routine? C. She was unsure but willing to try. Number 5. What did Anita suggest for Chloe's hydration? C. Drink more water throughout the day. Finally, let's try to think in English and express your words in English. You can practice thinking in English with the five W's. They are who, what, when, where, and why. How do they work? Let's have a look at the first situation. Good morning! Are you here for the new book sale, too? Yeah, I'm looking for some cookbooks. What about you? I'm here to get a science fiction novel. It's my brother's birthday gift. That sounds great. Hope you find a good one. Thanks. Shall we practice thinking and speaking in English? Who are they in the conversation? They are Emma and Alex. Where are they right now? They are at a bookstore. When is the conversation taking place? It's likely in the morning. What are they going to do? Emma is buying a birthday gift for her brother, and Alex is looking for cookbooks. Why are they at the bookstore? They are there for the book sale, each with their specific needs for books. Our sentence will be, In the morning, Emma and Alex meet at a bookstore during a sale. Emma is looking for a birthday gift for her brother, while Alex is searching for cookbooks. What do you think about this method? It's quite simple to understand, right? All right, shall we try another example? Do you know where my science book is, Mom? I think it's on your desk, dear. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Mom. You're studying a lot lately. Are you preparing for a test? Yes, we have a big science exam next week. I want to do well. Let's have a look at this situation. Who is that? The answer is obviously Sarah. What is Sarah doing? She is looking for a science book. When is this happening? It seems to be happening during a time when Sarah is preparing for a test. Where is Sarah likely to find her book? She probably finds it on her desk. 
Why is Sarah looking for her science book? Because she has a big science exam next week and wants to prepare for it. Our sentence will be, Sarah is searching for her science book, which she finds on her desk, as she is studying hard to prepare for a big science exam next week. How does it sound now? Have you learned it? You can choose the methods that make you comfortable when learning English. Remember, no matter what happens, never give up. Please be determined to achieve your learning goal. The outcome will never let you down. Don't forget to develop these five-minute habits every day to improve your English. See you in the upcoming video. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.